drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos hello and welcome to edupedia world welcome to sap ui5 training session in this training session we're going to see how to deploy our sap ui project in sap so what does this means so we have a sap system so we want to make use that sap system and i want to use my project there so at the end of the day whenever you create sap ui5 project it has to be converted to bsp application and then it has to be exposed to outside world so how we create bsp application and how we gonna deploy our project that is very important now i'll take my fury app as an example and i'm going to deploy that so my fury app i'm going to run this my fury app in a browser and then i'm going to deploy localhost my fury app so once i run this application so when it's yeah this is our application so whenever we click master page the detail page appears i'm going to put this in our sap system so everyone has some sap system so let's this local host 8080 is our local system so i'm going to open now sap logon so once i open sap logon and i have to give i'm going to take a press one yeah it opens so once it gets open and there's a transaction code slash so once we log on to sap system we have to go to se38 transaction code once you go to se38 and we have a program called ui5 slash ui5 slash ui5 underscore repository slash ui5 this is a one so this is for sap repository load ui5 load load your sap ui5 apps from the local file system so this is used and if you want to load from some web url then you can use this http but we are doing it from the local system now so it is slash ui5 slash ui5 underscore repository load once you click it so this is the one slash ui5 slash ui5 underscore repository underscore load so now after this we have to execute once you get once it gets executed and it will display this kind of form then here what you have to give is you have to write your sap application name so what is the application name so my application name will be my fury app this is my application name so it's in the local system so i want to use a z package z my fury app and then i'll say upload and then click on upload and execute once it get executed it will ask for it will ask for the folder structure and then you have to go to your workspace and in my workspace i have my fury this means we have to go to where your project is there so we have to go there then click on web content so when you, wherever your project is existing you have to go there and click on web content once you click on web content and you can say okay you have to say press okay once you say okay your files whatever files is there it will be uploaded and then we have to see which are the files has been loaded take some time to upload those files depending on the size so once it gets uploaded we'll get a message this is how once your my fury app gets uploaded this is all the files which are uploaded so when you go down so see this our model mock json formatter grouper controller detail line item master and etc after that you have to click on this click here to upload once you click here to upload then you have to give description this is a demo app for testing 
for testing so the, here you give description and then you will be entering the package so I don't want to put any package I'm going to do a temp and transport request we don't require as of now user for the temporary folder if you have any transport request you can put that and then you have to continue click on this right mark so once you click it will be navigating to the page yeah still loading it is it takes some time to get updated thank you for watching itchopedia world stay tuned for more videos